We got the regular Blu-ray. We got the 4K Ultra HD. Now this is an older movie, so it's probably not gonna have Dolby Atmos, but it should still sound amazing in here. So in case you're new around here and you don't know, these are 33 inch B2 audio subs. I've got a full clips 9.2.4 system. Those are RF73 towers, an RC64-3 center channel. We got Atmos up top, all four corners. I don't have anything in the middle yet, but we got the 0.4 part of it. We got full tower rears. We got sides, we got side wides, and an 85 inch Sony Bravia 4K TV. We got audio control, Maestro X9. We got the Pantages G4, we got the Savoy G4, and we got the Avalon G4, along with two 1000 watt amps running the subwoofers. The subs are underpowered immensely right now. They're only getting a thousand each. They could probably handle 5,000 each or more. So I get what I get. Every single speaker in this entire system has its own amplified channel all to itself. If you watch the older videos, you know I used Dirac Live to get this room situated and get it sounding really good. Um, everything could always use improvements, but for the most part, it sounds amazing just the way it is, even without redoing it a hundred times. Like I've only done it once and I'm happy with the sound. I don't even really need to mess with anything too much. I've had people on YouTube tell me that my speakers aren't far enough apart and that's just spread them out further. But in reality, this living room is really big. So it kind of fools you a little bit from the center of each one of these cones on these towers is 10 feet. And that's pretty far apart. I would like to go a little further, but I don't want to go out into the hallway. Go in your own living room right now and spread your speakers apart 10 feet and tell me that that's not far enough apart. Like I said, they could be a little bit further apart just because my seating area is so far away from the TV, but in reality, it's really not that bad. It's not a dedicated home theater room. It's my living room, so we're going to get it as good as we can and just enjoy it for what it is, and I love it. Being that my front left and right towers are 10 feet apart, it would be a little bit more ideal for my couch to be closer as we're sitting at about 14 feet out. But I got to do what I got to do. I got a wood burning stove over there in the way. I can't push it any closer. I don't want it to catch on fire. Most of this video is going to be shot with this tripod right here, right behind me. And as you can see, it is around 20 feet away right now. So all the shaking and rumbling and all the sounds you're going to hear are from 20 feet away from the main system. Some people want to leave comments about how small my TV is and I need to get a bigger one because you've seen my YouTube videos and well one thing you have to understand is look how far back I am. Let's take the internet TV challenge. I want you to step back as far as you can. If you can go back 20 feet away from your TV, take a picture of it and post it and watch it shrink on YouTube. But in real life, it's still an 85 inch TV. So with that being said, let's bump some Jurassic Park and see how it sounds in here. I just now unwrapped it. I haven't watched or listened to this thing at all since I bought it like a year ago. Crank up your subs, crank up everything and see what it sounds like. It's not going to sound the same to you as it does to me because I'm here in person, but go on this ride with me. Let's go.
fast forward this thing to some dinosaurs or something, but god damn. As you can see, it don't really matter much if the tripod is 20 feet away or right next to the speaker. It's a small little example of what it sounds like in here without you actually being in the room. I don't know what it's gonna sound like over your own home subwoofers, your own home system, because I had it cranked up in here, but believe me, sounds awesome. And uh, I got a couple more DVDs I'm getting ready to try. Hit like, follow, subscribe, all that cool stuff. If you wanna see me play something else, Say something in the comments, I'll do it. For right now, I am out of here.